Hi Leo, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your general love reading for the month of May 2022. This is for any Leo looking for any guidance and messages in their love lives. Remember, if this video doesn't resonate with you, there'll be other videos coming up for you soon. So glad you can make it here tonight, Leo. I'm really appreciative. Uh, you guys are always going to be uh, one of my favorites, okay? So Leo, let's see what we have for you for the month of May. Always going to be a chill vibe here. We don't take ourselves too seriously, Leo. And you know, if you want to watch more videos, I do have uh, some generals coming up for you as well for May. So let's see what we have for you, Leo. We're going to draw one card from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angel Oracle deck. Then we're going to draw nine cards for past, present, and future. And then one card at the bottom of the deck for advice. So I'm going to cut the deck and we'll see what we have for you. All right, Leo. So your message for the month of May will be, is it safe for you to love? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, there you go. So... The message here for you is it's safe for you to love. Some of you are still fearful of love or maybe you've been traumatized from a past situation or a previous relationship, okay? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So some of you have some walls up. Some of you may be holding on to past X energies. Some of you may be hesitant to get back into the dating world, okay? Maybe with COVID, things have changed for you. And Leo, maybe you feel as if uh, your priorities have changed and things have to shift uh, in a different way for you now, okay? It is safe for you to love. Some of you are overwhelmed by the fact that uh, there could be someone out there for you, but you're not really looking hard enough, okay? Let's open up and see what is coming up for you, Leo. I'm going to cut the deck and see. We're going to do three cards for your past energy. So, Leo, your first card for you will be the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Your next card, we have the Six of Cups in reverse. And lastly, oh, we have the King of Cups. Okay, Leo. Let's see what's happening for you in your past spread. So we have the Three of Pentacles for you. There is some sort of um, group that you belong to, maybe a community or uh, at work here, okay? Uh, where you are dealing with either people around you that are noticing you doing things. Perhaps you're trying to reinvent yourself. You're trying to self-improve here in a lot of ways. Some of you may be working hard towards something, or some of you may also be trying better to do things uh, in a different way here. And now you're getting a lot of respect from people that are in your community or around you, okay? For a lot of you, you'd like to be seen. For a lot of you, you'd like to be noticed here, Leo, okay? And people are noticing, or at least they were noticing you, okay? And it seems to me like a lot of you seem to be holding on to past energies here because we have the Six of Cups in reverse. So it's about not being able to let go of a past energy. Could be an X energy, okay? It could be holding on to past mistakes or believing that those same mistakes that you've made will carry on with you, okay? Some of you feel damaged. Some of you feel as if you're not able to let go of what's happened to you in the past here. Something may have hurt you in the past. Something may have made you believe that you don't deserve love anymore. Some of you have basically uh, tried to rehash things with an ex even for some of you. Okay, Leo? And so what happened here is this could be someone you were dealing with with the King of Cups. So a water sign here, Leo. So Cancer Pisces Scorpio for some of you. Uh, this person can be someone that you were dealing with in the past that definitely uh, was very much uh, a true spirit, someone who is really creative, someone who is very caring, okay, and loving in a way. And you really enjoyed that, but something happened between the two of you. And it's safe to say that for some of you, uh, 
you had to carry yourself out of this relationship or out of this friendship. Some of you may have had to even walk away or some of you still are dealing with this individual, okay? And this person can be part of your organization or group that you're in for some of you. And they may also be someone who at least you're keeping around in the meantime because you're not able to let go. Or maybe you're holding on to an idea of a person that you are uh, into that for some of you, this person doesn't feel the same way towards you, okay? And something may have happened in the past that has damaged you. Maybe you approached this person and things didn't go out right or the way that you wanted to. But it seems to me like this is something that's affected you tremendously. And it's been difficult for you to move on or let go of this individual for some of you. Okay, Leo? Let's take a look at your present energy and see what else is coming up for you. So your first card will be the Chariot. Okay. Good old Chariot. Next card for you will be, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay. And your last card for the present will be the Judgment card. There you are. Okay, so Leo, let's see what is happening here right now for you, okay? Hmm. So I definitely see for some of you, uh, Leos, that you've been trying to move towards something different right now. And you feel as if there's a struggle happening for you. And you feel a little bit on edge, okay? But there's some big change coming for you, okay? Let's get into the chariot first for you. So... There is some positivity happening here right now for you, okay, Leo? Uh, this card means you're pushing forward towards something or there is some sort of success. You may be excelling in the areas of your life that you're putting effort into, okay? So it could be work for some of you. This could also mean that you are finally hitting your stride and moving forward in a better direction, okay? So some of you may feel as if you are now focused on yourself or you're ready to move forward and take on whatever possibilities are out there, okay? And this is a card to signal for you to move forward and carry on. And of course, it is a yes card, so it is a lot of positivity here and a lot of acknowledgement for a lot of you Leos that you're doing the right thing, okay? Whatever it is you're trying to do in terms of this relationship or finding love, you are on the right path, okay? Now, however, with the Seven of Wands, there's signals to me that there could be some struggles that you may be encountering here. Not that you can't handle these struggles, okay? This is more of an energy of you uh, standing your ground and being firm about things. So some of you have uh, needed to cut some individual as, individuals out, okay, who are around you. They may be toxic for you. They may not be serving you or draining you for some of you, okay? Like I'm getting this vampire kind of energy drain here. But for a lot of you, spiritually, even you feel drained. There is uh, a sense here where you're trying to keep afloat and maintain your uh, flow here by either releasing or not putting up a fight anymore. And some of you have just gotten rid of people. Some of you have decided to stand firm and uh, believe in what you were trying to do here and you're not letting anybody convince you otherwise, okay? Uh, whatever those people say around you, okay? And that could be a reflection of how you feel towards a group of people in your community, or uh, it could be in re uh, regards to exes or past lovers or people that you are currently pursuing, okay? And that's going to help your cause because the judgment card is followed after this. And you know what? This card comes out when you have realized past mistakes and something major is going to shift for you. It is an enlightenment card. It is a realization for you, okay? So remember, is it safe for you to love? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And I see that there's not a lot of cups here. So 
For some of you, it could mean that you still need to open up emotionally. You may be mentally ready. You may be passionate and have all the energy to embark on these new adventures, okay? But there's still a part of you that hasn't really released yet. But this new enlightenment is going to bring new love and new connections for you, okay? We can also assume that the chariot could be a cancer. So I'm getting two waters here. You could be dealing with either the same or with a different individual. Let's take a look now and see what your future energy holds for the reading. Okay, your first card for you will be the Seven of Swords. All right, and your next card. We have the King of Wands in reverse. And lastly for you, Leo, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, so, hmm. I'm seeing here for your future energy, there may be issues with someone trying to deceive you and there could be some emotional turmoil for you, okay? But let's take a look right now and see. So, first we have the Seven of Swords. So for a lot of you Leos, there may be somebody out there who is trying to point you in a different direction. Someone may be uh, hiding information from you. Uh, for a lot of you Leos, there could be, this could be you. This could be you getting away and lying about a situation in order to avoid any emotional burdens, okay? Some of you may lie about how healthy you are in uh, relationships. How, some of you may be lying even about uh, being open to love when in reality you know that there's something still going on between you and someone else or just you yourself and your struggles, okay? Even though from the outside it looks like you're moving forward and you will reach an enlightenment here but there are still issues here with deception and I'm still even though I'm reading this more as you deceiving yourself there could be also someone out there who is deceiving you and this will lead you now to the queen of sorry the king of wands in reverse so this could be the individual that may be uh, hiding information from you they could be a fire sign so this could be you as well and this is why I firmly believe it's more you, but you could be dealing with another fire sign. So it could be uh, Sagittarius uh, Aries or another Leo, just like you. Okay, but this really feels a lot like your energy and you are in reverse here because, well, we have you deceiving yourself, being ready in a situation or being prepared for a situation and knowing what you're going to get into in terms of a relationship or dealing with someone and you not having that passion. You may be moving forward, but you don't feel completely right. You don't feel as if you're motivated inside. That fire inside you feels like it's dim, okay? so. The reason for this is because we have the Three of Swords here. So, like I said, you're still holding on. You're still feeling emotionally distraught. You are bound by something and something is holding you back. And it really is something that's happened to you in the past. There's some emotional pain that a lot of you are still holding on that really needs to be released at some point. But it's so difficult for you, okay? Because it's as if it's still really fresh for you, even though it's not. And a lot of you want to even carry this because you like the pain. I'm getting that you enjoy this pain. You like suffering. You like being in this situation. Okay. But in reality, you do want to move on and you have the energy to do so. And there will be that enlightenment with the judgment here. Okay. So what you do with this pain is you're going to have to slowly release or you're going to have to slowly believe in yourself. That's going to be opening your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So some of you may have to give a little in order to get something back. Okay. It is this constant flow of energy and exchange here between you and new individuals or your current someone. So remember that and know that this pain, even though it's still with you, you're going to have to recognize that eventually it's something that will go away if you want it to. Okay. 
And it's okay for some of you who still want to be in that energy, of course, but you now know that it is safe to love. And when you do make the choice to do so, you can then uh, achieve what you want to achieve in finding your love or soulmate, okay? But I do see right now in your current energy that things are going well and you're on the right path and you are reaching a new phase in your life. Um, but don't forget that, you know, you shouldn't be fooling yourself in this situation. Let's draw one card at the bottom of the deck for you, Leo, and see what message we have for you. So your advice card for the reading will be the Six of Wands. Okay, so Leo, this message for you is very clear here, okay? You're going to be doing you. You're going to be going on and seeing that people around you, just like I said in the past, uh, will be respecting you and seeing you achieving uh, everything that you are doing right now. You're going to be doing great things. You're going to be uh, excelling in many parts of your life. And there will be suitors and people around you that will see that, okay? And you'll be attracting many individuals later on. And just know that uh, sometimes, you know, you may think that you're not on the right path for some of you, or you may think that you don't deserve something or you're not good enough, but in reality you are, and people see that, and you are deserving, and things will eventually work in your favor. With the six here, you know, eventually it will become a, a higher number and you'll get moving forward in that energy, okay? So just embrace the fact that right now you're doing well and you're doing great and you are loved by many people around you and that it is very much safe for you to love. So Leo, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other readings coming up for you soon. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe or notifications for any updates. I'll uh, be back here again. Thanks for joining me here tonight and bye for now.